Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create and save branded templates into your Design Files account so that you can use them for all of the design boards and all of your client projects and give your presentations that nice, cohesive and professional branded look. So if you like the idea of having branded footers on your design boards, or if you like the idea of starting each and every one of your presentations with a branded cover slide, that's exactly what we're gonna cover in today's video. Now in this particular project, you can see that I've got a cover slide and I've got a couple of different branded footers. And if I wanted to create a brand new design board for this particular project and use one of these elements or one of these templates, all I have to do is click the button to add a design click into the mood board software and right away at the top, you're going to notice that there's this new option that says templates. So if I click on that, it's going to show me all of the individual templates that I've already created and saved. And if I want to pull in my standard design board template for this particular design, I'm going to click on it and it's immediately going to load it in. Now from here, if I needed to make any changes to it, for instance, if this design board that I'm working on is going to be for the living room instead of the bedroom for this particular project, I can click directly into the text here and then I'll be able to change the text over here using the uh, tools in my toolbar. So you can update the text and then you can, once you have those changes made, you can start loading in all of the individual products that you want to use to build out that living room design. So from here, you can load in any template that you want. And I'm just going to delete some of these elements because if you wanted to create a brand new template, here's how you would go about doing that. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to upload an image of your logo so that you can incorporate that into your branded templates. Now you would do that by going over to your personal library over here. You're going to click the upload button and you're going to select that logo file from your computer. You just need to make sure that your logo is in the form of, or that, sorry, the file is in the form of a JPEG, a ping or a GIF. As long as it's in the, one of those formats, you'll be able to select it from your computer and save it to your library over here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and search for logo because I've already added in a few options and I'm going to drag this out. I'm going to scale my logo down and I'm going to place it down here in the bottom right hand corner of my empty canvas. Now you can add any extra graphic elements that you want to add to your branded template. So you can upload images of literally anything from divider lines, arrows, hand-drawn arrows, borders. There's loads of graphic elements that are available to you online and you can grab any of these, save them to your computer and upload them into your personal library. Or if you have access to something like Photoshop, you can create your own graphic elements. And then you can, again, just make sure that you save it as a JPEG, a ping or a GIF, and you'll be able to upload it into your library and use it as part of your branded template. So for instance, I've got a graphic line here that I'm gonna use to create a divider for myself. So I'm just gonna scale this up and I'm gonna slide it down here and place it where I want it to go within my design board here. So I'm just going to stretch that out a little bit more. And that's about right. I'm going to slide this little logo down just a smidge. And now that I have my divider in place, maybe what I want to do here is add in some text to indicate what project I'm working on. So I can pop down to the text library and down here I could drag out a font and just pick, basically pick one that you like and then you can add in your text. So maybe we'll call this the Banting Residence. Hit save. And I'm going to scale this down here and slide it into place. Now you'll see that your guides are gonna pop up when you are aligning elements uh, against other elements in your uh, design board here. So I'm just gonna line up my text here with the edge of the um, divider line and Maybe what I'll also do here is I'm going to duplicate this text. So I'll go over to my toolbar over here and duplicate it. And then I'm going to scale this down a little bit. I'm going to change the text. And in this case, I'm going to put in the room that I'm working on. So maybe this is my bedroom. This, this whole design board is going to be focused on the bedroom design. And then over here, I can just kind of line up that text. And if I want, I could also change the color of it over here as well. So if I wanted this to be a lighter gray or a different color, I can use the color wheel to do that. 
Now, if I'm happy with the way this uh, branded footer is looking, uh, next thing I can do is I can just go up to templates. I'm gonna save this as a template and we'll call this uh, template, okay, seven. <laughs> You're definitely gonna wanna be more descriptive when it comes to your branded template. So you're gonna to wanna to name it cover slide or standard footer or uh, color scheme footer so that when you are browsing all the various templates that you've saved here, you're gonna be able to quickly grab the one that you want. So be descriptive in your titles for each and every one of your templates. But here you can see that it's already been saved. If you ever wanna delete any of the templates that you've already created, you can just click the trash can icon here to delete them. And then you can kind of clean up your list and you can create as many as you wanna create. So from here, I'd probably start filling out my design board with products and, uh, oh, we'll get rid of the graphic line here. Okay, so I'd start filling up my design board with products and when I'm ready, I can hit save. Now this new slide will be added to your presentation and if I go back to the app, and if I go back to my design boards, you're gonna see my resident or my um, cover slide, my standard uh, branded footer, my color scheme branded footer, and over here we have the new one that we just created. Personally, I'll be deleting this one from this project because it doesn't match my other ones, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how you can create them for your own projects and use them over and over again. So if you do have any questions whatsoever about creating branded footers within your Design Files account, just reach out to us on the live chat. We're always happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.